Here we are again. Another whiskey mystery. I'm Phil. Oh, it's cold in California. And by cold, I mean we had to turn the heat on. <laughs> right. <laughs> well, what are we doing today? Do you notice the way the bottles are all perfectly even? The meat. We have reached a point where we have exactly two rows on all shelves. <laughs> <laughs> We are going to be blind. So, by, by the way, there's about 140 something bottles. Bishop Burnboy picked one for us to blind taste this week. By the way, we forgot Bishop Burnboy's fireworks, I think, last week. Oh, that's coins. No, not coins. Fireworks. <laughs> right. For the next 12 minutes, we're going to nose it, taste it, see if it makes it on the shelf. Our ranking system. These are the favourite bottles at the top. Less favourite, but they're all fantastic because Craig Ellicky mm. 13, it stayed on the shelf because we managed to squeeze in last week's. But uh, enough, enough. we don't have any Craig Ellicky to compare. Yesterday's glass. Oh, you know, viscometer. Let's get the viscometer started. Um, charge it up. And have I got my stopwatch today? I think I have. Here it is. Go. We'll see how that that works out. Right, yesterday's glass. Can you must name a cut stems? Oh, cut stems. I'm getting a very light vanilla, but a little bit of vanilla ice cream. I'm not getting anything smoky or dirty. But then, oh, I was going to say the Glen Murray, which we put up here. In fact, I'll put it back up. Uh, we're going to use it for comparison today. But the Glen Murray was also very light the day after. So maybe it's a similar space ID type of whiskey. No. No? Okay. Why Why do you say no? It's more of an island. Oh. <laughs> space ID is Highland. <laughs> no, but... No, okay. A bath. Well, that is very light. Not only light colour, but it's light ABV, isn't it? Because, let's see, bubbles. Oh, hang on. Let's go, let, I think we're going to be starting from the, the bottom here. 40%. Well, 43. 43. This is a, this 43 performs well, the Balvini 43. 46. Oh, it's hard to tell, isn't it? I do struggle. I struggle with the... When you're below 46%, oh, when you're below 46%, or sorry, below 48%, the bubbles really do look the same. And it might be something to do with filtering as well as just the low ABV, but... We've only got two 40%ers, and I don't think it is... Um, Ockentoshan and the other one Dalmore, I think. Dalmore would be more coloured than that so this is incredibly light colour isn't it yeah I'm really not getting much in the glass from from yesterday let's put but with the whiskey it's not free I'm still going to add a lot of water to start you're not supposed to be drinking the full one yet Mm. Actually, we're supposed to be nosing anyway. Um, I've cut light. stems. Cut stems. So, but um, vanilla. Oh, oaky. It's got an oaky finish. Vanilla cut stems, oaky. Sort of lemony. Right. What on the? What about the nose on the full strength? Very nice. Oh, uh, yeah, that's nice. Shop it. Lemon. Oh, have I? No. Viscometer's still going. Shortbread and lemon. Lemon. It's almost clean. Yeah, it's very clean. Uh, it's quite faint. I wouldn't have said it was powerful, but there again, that's probably the ABV. Maybe a dust of a, a butter scot. Oh, Stefan! <laughs> now, is this real? <laughs> it is real. Let's see if we get 
coins on top this time. Oh, look at it struggling to play back with all of the all of the overlay graphics. Thank you very much, Stefan. We will put you into the hat. Teddy KGB, maybe dal more vodka. <laughs> then maybe make it look darker. Fantastic. There's a little, um, there's sort of a little minty, light mint lemon, a tiny bit of nectarine. Like there's just a tiny bit of darker white fruit, but there's obviously. It's by, uh, um, must have been. Sort of marzipan cereal. cereal. Yeah. You you said a comment yesterday that made me laugh. Deepa said, it's like Ardbeg 10 if it had no smoke in it. And I think that that's quite good because Ardbeg has that citrus lemon base, doesn't it? And it's quite light. So maybe it's a 10 year old. No, it's a finish. It's a... All right, let's have a taste on full strength. Tell me what ABV you think it is. Because there's so many to choose from in the lower ranges. 43, 46. But in more forty six. Mm. Because it's a part of a flavor. Forty three maybe? And it does not feel diluted. That's true, it doesn't feel diluted. So maybe it is forty six. I thought it was forty three yesterday. Um You think it's forty six? I think it's more forty six is fine. Yeah, it seems stronger now. But oily it does. Oh, thank you. Viscometer at exactly four minutes false graph. I wasn't paying attention. Right. <laughs> that works out at... See, it's another one at about 105% then. Which has been a very common score. 105%, 106%. And that is of 40% Russian vodka. Meaning it's 5% more viscous than 40% Russian vodka. So nothing special on the viscosity. Very standard. Finish was actually longer than I expected. Let's go again. Mm. It's pretty thin though. It is, and it's vanish. But it's about it's simple, but no, it's dumbbell it's, flavors. It's delicate vanilla. It's like probably the lightest vanilla that I've noticed. Vanilla citrus, but then it has this layer of little sparkly pepper. Mm. Not it's not big, but it's just like little fine sparkles. And definitely fennel. Definitely fennel. <laughs> fine sparkly pepper into the oakiness. Mm. Now, the oakiness like on. suggests it could be older. But I wouldn't say this is complex. I mean, when I painted it yesterday, mm. it was like a less complex version of the Glen Murray. But um Maybe, but I mean, there are three, three ingredients. Three ingredients. That give more complexity, more than three. If that makes sense. Mm. It is the type of whiskey I would give to someone who hadn't had whiskey before, though. Meaning it is simple, but good quality. But not for the beginner. What would you give to a beginner, then? I think it's time for a comparison. It's fairly a shot, but there are no bitterness throughout. From start to finish. Okay. It's not a million miles away. Actually, the, the finish. I some bitterness. The finish on this is very close, but the start is not. The start tasted quite it's watery. More Better or worse? I prefer today any yeah. day. So this, this is Suntory Toki. But, today is but crisp. the um the kind of flavours are similar. It's in that light fruit version, but you can you can taste the grain in the first half of this by comparison. Right. Um where should we go next? First half, 43. That was 43. Oh and yeah, that's a good point. It could be 43. Could be. Right, this one is 46. Better or worse. 
Hang on, what is it? I almost forgot what I'd brought up. Oh, that's rock up for 46. It's spicy, I prefer today. Mm. All Pulteney 17. I was thinking it, it could be All Pulteney 12, but uh, uh, that's 43%. This is quite herbal and earthy by comparison. Mm. That is very clean light. Right. But very gross. That and more over. This one ABV. Better. Better or worse? That is pretty good. I I, 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 I have both. That's the Glen Mori. Mm. Now coming back to this. Mm -hmm. Now the Glen Mori is forty nine percent. This is very light. This is much lighter. I think that Glen Mori is quite a bit better. One more. A lot of betters uh, are worse but today. I get back. It is sort of feel a bit less. Mm. Better or worse. Okay, this is Glen Cadam 21. Much more vanilla at the start, but it does have a bit of roll off. Right, so where are we up to then? Um, it's very light. So maybe 43. We are almost out of time. Okay, we'll, we'll just have to look at the ABV in a second. Hmm. I'm not sure anymore after all oh, that other whiskey. Yeah, it's been. It's just spoiled it. It has spoiled it a bit. So try not to be put off. Just think back. When you had it by itself, it was, it was very so pleasant. Good. Now, you have liked it a lot more than I have. I just thought it was a very nice whiskey. Um, classy, light, fruity. Now, my first thought was. I thought. 43% Bal Blair. This is a 21 year old. Oh, time is up. But we do also have a 43% Old Pulteney, which is why I was wanted to compare. I should bring up the spreadsheet, shouldn't I? We haven't even done that yet. Okay, if people want to look. I know we're a bit, we're a bit late. Uh, spreadsheet. So, it, we really could be in the 43 or 46, I think. So I will, what's in the 43s? Don't think it's antiquated. Could be Bal Blair. Oh, we've got a couple of Bal Blairs actually, now that I look. Don't know about Glen Keith. We've got these Pulteneys and then we're into the 40, all the blue ones here are 46% possibilities. Altmore Foggy Moss, a 12 year old space cider, isn't it? There's another Bal Blair, another Bal Blair. <laughs> oh, Kleinlish. Oh, it could be Daft Milk. That Dalmore is an ex bourbon. Oh, there's too many to look at. You try and have a look as I scroll by here. Surely not a Springbank 21 this time. Could be Deanston also. There's a ton that it could be. What about the finish? Right. Oh, I, think it's, I think it's young, which you know traditionally means it's very old. <laughs> but. Let me try the Glen Moray again. No, I'm going to be very light, very mm. simple. Right, then. Old Pulteney, so these are the 43% choices. There's a Bal Blair 91. I don't think it's antiquary because that looks darker. Um, Glen Keith, 21, possible. Hakushu. Yamazaki, no. I've got it, oh, I've got finished. 
It could be about 15. 18. It could be Irish. It is almost St. Patrick's Day. What's that though? That's, is that 40? Oh no, this is 46. I think I go for 43. Okay, 43 or 46? I, but <laughs> it gave me both. Which one, Deeper? <laughs> I think it's 43. 43. It, it's not 43. It's 46. <laughs> right, 46. That means it's none of these. It's none of those. But it could still be a Bal Blair. It could be a Kinahans. It could be this Bal Blair. It could be an Old Pulteney 21. What about a Dalmore ex Bourbon? Uh, Glendalock 13. We have a Weems Kleinlish. Altmore 12. I think I'm going to go for that. Wait. Loch Lomond 18. You know what it could be? It could be the original. It could be the original it's Deanston. Not funny. I remember that being peppery at the second half, though, but I'm not getting any Deanston grassiness. I, I, but Emin. They know Emin. It could be Daft Mill. Oh. Uh. What do we think? What do we think? I am. I I'm, never knew about that. What do you mean? You never knew? I'm the first to tell you about this. But I'm I, going... Oh, it's, oh, it's 12 years. I'm going for 12 year Altmore. It's, yeah. Right. Let's, uh, while Deepa decides, I'm going to go to the chat. So, you make your decision. Let's see. What's everyone else thinking? Teddy, KGB, OP17 is 46. Yes. Uh, Jerry Miller, they sent me samples. Was that us or someone else? I'm looking to see what people are guessing. Uh, Bishop Burnboy, the antiquary has, yeah, a bit of peat. Yeah, so that's that one's out. Whiskey 101, I don't remember getting lemon, but it's a long time since I had it. Uh, it's not super lemony. It's just that bright, um, light fruit. Glen Keith, a couple of guesses on the Glen Keith. Oh, I pay. <laughs> That's funny. I posted the the live chat link and not the <laughs> not the streaming uh, blind list. Anyway, Bobby J. Oh, Bobby, you're talking about samples I sent. Great. Really hard to tell, honestly. Yeah. Let's see. Yes, Peter. Let, let's go down. The only Val Blair I've had, National Parks artist is saying, is in a compass box bottle. Fair enough. Wow, there's a lot of guesses. Springbank 15. False graph. That would be super dark sherry, surely. Brook Laddie 22. That was you guys, Phil. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Jerry. Right. So Deeper is going for Val Blair. And I am going for Altmore. How old is this Bal Blair? Uh, 21. Nine, uh, 17 years old. 17. Yeah. Oh, they're not the Bal It's 21. Oh. Are we ready for the reveal? Here we go. It is 12 years old. Oh! <laughs> the Daft Mill, isn't the Daft Mill 12 years old? It cost $49. Oh, hang on. We didn't even say where it was on the shelf. See, for me... For me, I'd prefer Craig Ellicky 13, but Deeper like this a lot more. Okay. It is a space site. Oh, no. The, oh. Tape, the tape is torn off. I'm just going to have to go for the paper. It is... Altmore 12. Oh, wow. Yay! I knew. <laughs> well, I thought it was younger and simpler. Light space side. Well, I thought it was Bal Blair 43 at first. And that was an older one. Hang on, where's the bottle? 
No, that's not it. Where is it? Here it is. Are these almond copper pots? <laughs> copper pots. So we don't actually know much about Altmore, do we? A secluded site once known for smugglers. It's always smugglers, isn't it? The foggy moss. Uh, this rarest of Speyside classics has been distilled in handmade copper pot still since 1897. Uh, there you go. I'm trying to think, is Altmore, is it a whiskey that's used in other blends? Okay, natural colour, of course. Oh, you missed it. Nunchill filtered. That's good. I bet you like the typeface because it's like letterpress. And I thought it was the smoothest. No hint of peat. No hint of peat. Smoothest and cleanest taste. Smoothest and cleanest taste. Now, um, what do, do they actually have their tasting notes on there? I don't think so. So, um, let's have a little close up of it. Let's see. Twelve-year-old, this bottle has been knocking around for a while. Oh. In fact, we bought this November 2018. That's a uh, time ago. Uh, so this must have been one of the first bottles we bought after our original 24. It's so early because this was just after we released that first video. But I must we only, we only paid $49. And can you buy today? Um, I'd be curious. Somebody look up to see what Altmore Foggy Moss costs today. Uh, this was $49 including California taxes. So I stand dirty ducky. He first when he bought all at the go for this. Yeah, the Toki is about a thirty-five dollar bottle I, now. I prefer this. Let me try from the bottle. I I like it. I really like yeah. it. For me, you see, the the flavor I salad throughout. I can't put it above Craig Ellicky 13 though. Okay, fine. Can you? Uh, I can remember. Okay, fine. You preferred it to the Glen Cadam 21 though. That, that Glen going 17 is better. Okay. I'm... I, I'd rather, I'd rather, I'd rather put something here. Okay, Deeper really likes it. But I'm overruling. That Craig Ellicky 13 is better. I bet have you given me. Well, we don't have any. Should we go shopping? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's see what everyone thinks. Over to the chat. Has anyone had Altmore? Um, this is from the butter. Yeah. Jerry Miller, you got it? Oh, well, congratulations, Jerry. Have some fireworks. What else do we get? Very light space slide. Yes. Uh, Watchman. I didn't hear him say distant cow shed, so it can't be Springbank. <laughs> That's true. That is true. Uh, Melissa. Oh, Melissa's in. Hi, Melissa. You're having a 21 year red breast. Oh, you got it from us. That's funny because we haven't even had that yet. <laughs> it's somewhere still in the blind. Uh, Greg was going for the the blend, which I guess was the um, the Campbelltown lock, right? Patrice was guessing Kinahand. I was wondering if it could be Irish. Let's see. Ah, myths and legends. Yes, that was probably the compass box, Bal Blair, wasn't it? Still, we still haven't had a Bal. I was going to say that we had Bal Blair nineteen eighty three on Christmas Day, <laughs> but we haven't. Oh, we that's... haven't had a young Bal Blair. Oh no, that's not true either. Because Pooja brought us a 12-year Bal Blair. So I don't really know what I'm talking about. Right, let's just keep going. Uh, Jerry Miller. It looks like Jerry is the one who got it. OMG from Greg's Whiskey Guide. Did anyone get that? <laughs> yes. We, we know that Jerry got it. 
about a firework. No, I've given Jerry his fireworks. Me and Jerry getting the fireworks today. Uh, first time for everything. <laughs> <laughs> Real future pictures. No. You guys are pros. Ah. Uh, Papa, me put it oh, finish. Not we are it's not. Yes, we are not really pros. Actually, the premise of our YouTube channel is that we are stumbling, you know, beginners. But we've got two years in, so we're starting to, you know, have the illusion of knowing something. I became <laughs> overconfident at the happened today. Greg's whiskey guide. The notes are so different from the eighteen I've had. My long time, uh, long time to try this. I don't have any at home. Oh, what did you get on the 18, Greg? Give us a, f a few clues. Uh, let's see. GG. Uh, false graph. Really? Was there no one but me? Oh, I missed what you're talking about, false graph. Let's see. Whiskey 101. That was my first guess. I went Altmore, but Jerry got it first. Oh, well, Whiskey 101. I think you should have some fireworks as well. So Jerry, you're going to be picking, you're going to disturb the flow of our perfect bottle lineup. <laughs> so where would you like to pick from, Jerry? Top shelf, bottom shelf, deeper side, my side? Mm -hmm. You know the drill, I, I think. I, I, I try and I grab the bottle and I try and from you. I think it's much better than from the bottle. Mm. I try it again. This, from you. this has a drop of water? Yes. It's softer. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, that is significantly different, mm. isn't it? So yeah, after I uh, to sleep, Papa here. Well, this has been open in the glass for a while mm. with a drop of water. Did you pour more? I pour that not. Oh, three minutes ago. Uh, it's true. It actually tastes better from this bottle, even though this has got, you know, half a bottle of air in there. Okay, let me uh, continue with the chat. Uh, oh, Melissa's enjoying her red breast. 21. Very good. Oh, Greg's Whiskey Guide. Right, it's in Dewar's Blends. Nice. So Altmore is used in Dewar's Blend. Because it's not really a label that you see much as a single malt. So we know there's an 18. Thanks, Greg. There's a 12. I don't know if there are any others. Jimmy Jazz, congratulating Jerry for calling it early. <laughs> yeah, Jerry, you should retire. Exactly. Right. I better catch oh, up with man. that. Oh, man. Uh, the same bottle. Oh, press when you want. Okay. Right. Uh, I'm looking for any other. Foggy Moss. What a great name, Matt Chase. Yeah, I like Foggy Moss. Nice golden colour. It is one of the lightest whiskies, isn't it? Look. Um... They don't really need to tell us it's natural colour, do they? <laughs> right. GG. Okay, it's 45, £46 UK. Altmore is a 69 to 200 depend, depending where you go. <laughs> Real future pictures. So this is probably... Is it that much now? Peter, 42 in the Netherlands. Yes, 64. So maybe it has crept up. Watchman, all they have locally here is Altmore 2006, 13 year. Oh, an independent bottle, 48%. Wow, 200 Canadian, that is expensive. expensive, isn't it? Whiskey 101 is confirming the price as well. Okay, Jerry Miller. So for your brother, I will recommend this. For my brother? Oh yeah, that's a, that'd be one to send to Gray. So it's going to be Actually, I'll come back, Jerry. I've got your I've got your choice. Let me just catch up on people's chat. $55 on sale at Binnie's in Chicago. If it's Foggy Moss version. Okay. So it's gone up. In two years, it's gone up a little bit. Five to ten dollars. At fifty-five, if you could find Craig Elicky 13 on sale at fifty-five, which you might do, I would I would pick that one. Let's see, false graph, 43 for him. Yeah. David Owen, had this in my hand a few times, but never bought it. Well, it is on the sharing list, David, if you want to try. <laughs> so, what do so you think of it, David? Did I try this no, before? No, he's, he's, he's picked it up to buy it and then gone like, oh. mm, no. It is a light one. 
I would use it as an introduction whiskey, but it's better than Toki. <laughs> yeah. Donna Pass, Ulmer 12 was a very early one when I started oh. malt and loved it. Yes, mm. I would agree. Right, I better scroll down. Watchman, I liked Ulmer 12 Foggy Moss. It's 57 USD here. Okay, so it's about $10 up. I don't really know what I'm talking about. <laughs> oh, you're quoting me, Jimmy Leg. I thought you were quoting yourself. <laughs> Okay, top shelf Dustin's in. Hey, how are you doing? So are you before or after the pit of despair on the Dunning-Kruger effect? Oh no. But I, I should know what that is, Dustin. And I've forgotten what the Dunning-Kruger effect is. Um, I think it's what stage you're at in knowledge, is it? Like the more you know, the the less secure you become. I think it's that, wasn't it? I think we are, we ha we are thinking we're out of the pit of dis despair, but of course every so often something throws us throws us all the way back into the bottom of the pit of despair. I think that's what it is. Patrice, I found Ardmore Legacy and bought it because I was curious about the whiskey that started it all. Fantastic! So, what did you think, Patrice? Do you prefer that one or you prefer today? I just want to know what Patrice thinks of Ardmore Legacy. Don't drink it after anything strong, certainly. Oh, there's a lot of chat. A lot of chat. Okay, I'm going to... Watchman 999. Craig Elegy 30 is on sale here at $35 right now. Oh, buy two. That, is, that is the best $35 whiskey. Wow, you've got to buy it. You will ever buy. Go for it. Uh... Toki is a blend. Greg, Toki is a blend, so not comparable. Uh, Greg, we could compare whatever no, we no, no, like. I, I, no, I agree with you. <laughs> no. He must better. Of course. No comparison. Of course it's comparable. It's comparable as a whiskey which costs $30 versus one that costs $50. Of course. We can we could compare wine if we wanted to, Greg. <laughs> uh, let's see. Oh. It was, uh, right, a better, that's Jimmy Legg saying. It was 80 here in Nova Scotia, while AGI, while AGI? But I missed it. Now it's gone. Missed my chance. Oh, what a shame. James is in. Hey, James, how you doing? Altmore 12 is one a friend of mine has always recommended to me, and I've never got around to it. I recommend Craig Gellicky 13 to him, and he loved it. I would still go for the 13 over the Altmore. Ah, Top Shelf Dustin. So it was. Okay, so I have got that right. <laughs> Didn't you know about it? Yeah, vaguely. It was maybe because you've talked about it, Dustin. I don't know. Jerry Miller, I've never had an Altmore until I got a sample from you. Oh, Jerry. Oh, so said, you have had uh, the whiskey from this bottle. This I said is the you bottle. bought a bottle. Uh, have since bought a bottle. Oh, good. There you go. Nice. Nice to hear. Uh, I want my ECBP back on the shelf, Melissa is saying. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> you know, we haven't had the bourbon for a long time. Right, I think we better get on with the pick. Let's see, Patrice. Pretty light, but the flavour is very good for a $39 US. Uh, yeah, okay. Yes. And that's why we picked it up in the supermarket. We're talking about um, Ardmore Legacy now. And it is light. It is a supermarket whiskey but it was like oh nice caramel little bit of smoke it was intriguing and us uh, uh, enough for us to get started Greg's whiskey guide ha sure you're free <laughs> uh, please check out at least later my answers to some of your questions you asked me here oh have I missed some Greg sorry I do read the chat after sometimes I miss them as they're streaming by great price for a great whiskey definitely buy two Craig Ellicky 13s. Right, now I've got to go and find um, Jerry. Over Phil's right shoulder, bottom shelf, and bottom shelf at the back. Right, okay. Bottom shelf at the back. Let's go here. Right. 
Did I push the pick a bottle? I think I did. I'll push it. Oh yeah, I see it. I see that I pushed it. This is going to be number 162, picked by Jerry. <laughs> I don't know what I've written there. Jerry Miller. How's the dust factor? Looks like a relatively new wrap job on this one. Here we go. What are we going to have for Sunday? Is it a bourbon, Melissa? No, not a bourbon. Another light bubble, light whiskey. Very good value for money. Here we go. Anything peaty? <laughs> I'm going to have a little taste on Altmore before I go in. Off you go, have a taste. Mmm. That Altmore is is lovely. How's the new one? I suppose so. But I, the... I suppose so. <laughs> what kind of note is I suppose so? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> but this part, I can shove it in any time. But for that part, I'm not sure. Oh. Hang on, that's got a funny little finish to it. But, but, but I'm there, that is so, oh gosh, that's very delicate. Something going on in here, something going on. Right, that will be, um, that will be ready Thank for you Sunday. Two days. I think, have another sip on, no. We'll let you know on Sunday. We will probably see you at Roy's. If you're a Patreon, there's a little lock-in at Roy's. Mm. And thanks everyone for watching. Another fun whiskey mystery for us. This is breakfast for us, by the I way. I'm happy for the oh, breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> and, whoa, we got a chat from, uh, from Gigi. Just in time, Gigi. Quick. Thank you very much. Good guess, Phil, finally. I don't think I've had too many right this year. We will put your name in the hat, Gigi. Thank you very much. Any, uh, really. Any last minute, any last minute messages? Let's see. I love that note, Whiskey 101. I suppose so. <laughs> we need to put that on the Colonel Parker blend when it's released. <laughs> That's true. Not a bourbon, but it was a funny note. Jimmy Leg, I think you're doing some of the most creative content on whiskey. I knew, never could have expected anything like this. Oh, thanks, Jimmy. I appreciate that. Well, I think we've still got two years to go. So hopefully uh, we can keep the enjoyment going. Where's my out button? We will see you all on Sunday. Thanks for watching. Bye. Where's that old boy?